Hello everyone. This video talks about the ecological pyramids, their types and their variations in an ecosystem. In this lesson, we learn about what ecological pyramids are and the types of pyramids like pyramid of numbers, pyramids of biomass and finally the pyramid of energy. An ecological pyramid is a three-dimensional triangular structure in the shape of a pyramid that shows the flow of energy from the level of a producer which is at the base and gradually up to the highest consumer level which makes the apex or the topmost part of a pyramid. The various trophic levels are shown by the various levels in a pyramid. The first type of our ecological pyramid is the pyramid of numbers. So what happens in a typical grassland ecosystem is you have grass which is eaten by say a rabbit and that rabbit is being fed upon by an eagle. For this food chain to be actually feasible there has to be a lot of grass and there has to be enough amounts of say rabbits to feed on the grass and also a few eagles that could feed on the rabbit. Could you imagine this in the reverse direction? For example, you have a lot of eagles, a few rabbits and very much few grass. So would that be feasible? No, it won't. So pyramid of number usually depends on the producers. So in the pyramid of numbers, we actually calculate the number in each trophic level, the number of producers or consumers that are seen in each trophic level. Thus, in most ecosystems, it is seen that the producers are the most in number, followed by the primary consumers and the least numbers are found in the highest level of consumers, which could be secondary as in this case, or in some other case, it could be also tertiary consumers or even quaternary consumers. In reality, the pyramid of numbers doesn't accurately de uh, depict what is going on in an ecosystem and there could be various instances where this relationship could be skewed or even inverted. For example, in a tree ecosystem. In a tree ecosystem, a single tree is taken into account. So we have just one single tree as the producer and the second second level, the primary consumers consisting of birds are more in number than the producers. And for instance, there are parasites that are on these birds. So they, they, are, they are more in number than the number of birds. And then there are uh, hyperparasites that are feeding on the parasites, which are even more in number. So in this case, we see that the pyramid of numbers is inverted. It could even be spindle shaped in a tree ecosystem where the herbivores are fed on by carnivorous birds. For example, um, a parrot is being eaten by an eagle. In that case, it will be spindle shaped and not inverted. Another way of depicting the ecological pyramids is through the pyramids of biomass, which is basically depicting the amount of dry weight at each trophic level in a food chain. So naturally, grasses, that is, in this ecosystem, other producers will have the maximum amount of biomass followed by the primary consumers, that is a rabbit. It will have a little less biomass than the producers. And finally, the hawk feeding on the rabbits would have even lesser biomass. There is one prerequisite to the pyramid of biomass, that is that Data has to be taken at one point in time in one sample because the organisms have to be killed for their dry weights to be taken. Dry weights of organisms are usually taken by drying them in oven and so basically you're killing the organism. So different samples data can vary. So uh, for example in a pond water sample the dry weight of phytoplanktons would naturally be much lesser than the number of then the dry weight of zooplanktons and similarly the biomass of a small the number of small fishes that are feeding on the zooplanktons will obviously be much more and the biomass of the big fish would obviously be more than the small fishes 
and thus we can see that the pyramid of biomass could be inverted in such a case and lastly and the most important pyramid is our pyramid of energy it represents the total energy that is stored in the organisms at each trophic level in a food chain the pyramid of energy is always upright which kind of proves proves the point that energy is always decreasing in each trophic level of a food chain this is a typical energy pyramid where you can see that the base of the pyramid is made up of the primary producers which is getting the direct sun's energy and primary consumers who are consuming the primary producers are getting 10% only so 90% of the energy is getting lost uh, in the form of respiratory losses for example and the secondary consumers are getting only 1% of the energy from the from feeding on the primary consumers and similarly the apex predators could get as low as 0.01% of the total sun's energy that the primary producers had in the first place and a very important point is that from each of these trophic levels decomposers are directly taking away their own share and de decomposing them to recycle back the nutrients into the primary producers energy pool which is in the form of nutrients so that was all about ecological pyramids hope this was information to you thank you